Howdy folks, hope you're all having a great weekend and welcome back to Aliens Dark Descent where we are on a mission Understood. to Uploading Atmosphere mission Processor data. 27 to recover a power core in order to overcharge the shields that the ship doesn't have. <laughs> what the hell is going on with Smudge's cloak? Um, yeah. Yeah, I covered this in the last episode. Um, shield technology is not a thing in this universe, but whatever, you know, it's what we need to do to make the story happen. And it's really not diminishing my enjoyment of the game, so we're going to crack on and do it. We're heading to the atmosphere processor to recover a fusion power core. And it looks like I'm taking the A-Team with me, or what is rapidly becoming the A-Team. So much for Sergeant Ruiz, that treacherous, cultist-sympathising bastard. We've got Sergeant Sharp instead. Oh yeah, he's equipped with mines, isn't he? I really should probably be using those. <laughs> it's turning into the grenades from Warhammer 40k Demon Hunters, isn't it? Did you remember to equip the grenades? Did you? Yeah, I know. Okay, I have a fair amount of Xeno samples, so we're going to make the most of... Um, well, I think the two most immediately useful ones are going to be the anti-acid gel, so they don't take acid damage when an alien bursts next to them, and of course the chitin Kevlar are on the plate. We'll take two tools, three med kits, and yeah, two smart guns. Hopefully we'll pick up more along the way. So let's kick the tires and light the fires, because this mission ain't going to complete itself. Listen up, Marines. It's time to leave this place for good. Corrigan reckons we can overload our shield. But for that, we'll need to steal a power core, nuclear grade. Lucky for us, we might find one just like it on Atmosphere Processor Sigma-12. There's a good chance we'll find a nest there. But standard rules of engagement apply. So if there's anyone alive down there, we get them out. We save everyone we can. Well, that's odd. On the map it says Atmosphere Processor 27, but every time they refer to it they say it's called Sigma 12. Meh, details. Not really important, just, you know, a thing. Alright Marines, we're after that Atmospheric Processor's power core. Our beloved Otago needs it for its shield. So we enter, we steal the thing, and we get back to the ship. Nice and easy. According to Director Price, the processor still runs on standby. So there could be survivors working on that power core. Hayes needs access to the SATCOM to prove this little theory. So let's start there. I've actually noticed something like that happening a couple of times where the, um, the text... We got a body, oh. Sarge. Hello. Ruptured chest. Guess we can't have nice things. Squad, assume there's critters nearby. Yeah, where the text uh, that's being displayed doesn't match what's actually being said. And it's usually a minor detail. Uh, Dr. Becker in the lab will be talking about uh, cryo sleep chambers, but the actual text appearing on screen will say a hypersleep chamber. The correct terminology in this universe, by the way, is hypersleep. Right, anyway. Explore the administration on, building. Uh, I'm not in any rush. There's usually very little activity at the start of a deployment. I want to have a good look around and make sure I'm not missing anything. I feel like, I don't know, maybe on some of the previous missions to different areas just rushing straight in and trying to get the primary and secondary objectives done Double time. I might have missed stuff that's just well, well we'll find out like for example over here rather than heading straight into the admin building I'm sure I saw something on the map that indicated there was a terminal now I do only have two tools but it's an encrypted terminal do I actually need to use a tool? It doesn't look... Yeah, it is an encrypted terminal. Well, there's usually something good on the Wait. other side of a door that's locked with an encrypted terminal, terminal. So now. I'm going to burn the tool. Go on, Skirt. Do your thing. Access granted. All right. Come on, team! What do we have in here? So far, a very disappointing lack of anything. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me a tool to get in here. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right, ammo. Hurry up, squad. Oh. Roger. Well, I'll take Let's it. Let's see what's inside. Generally, when they make you use a tool to get access to something, there's usually at least one other tool on the other side to make up for the tool that you had to use. Okay, we got a med kit. Two med kits. Ah, this isn't terrible. Let's see what's inside. And we've also got a view of what's waiting for us on the other side, even though we can't actually get in there from here. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a complete bust. 
two med kits, some ammo. Would have been happier with the toolkit though. Still on, absolutely team. nothing on the motion trackers. Oh hello, there's something over there. So this is why it pays to look around. It looks like it's just a data pad though. Oh yes, the data pads. Affirmative. Yeah. Hey, I, I think found I talked about this in a previous like a episode. The thing about this particular mission, for once you really do need to read these data pads. Uh, and I'll explain why. I've written up scores of reports, but hardly anyone reads them, just like the data pads. <laughs> so, uh, Security Officer Reed Reddington thinks that there's something creepy roaming around in the dark, and he's not wrong. This is Sarah Randall, Administrative Director of WI Atmospheric Processor Sigma-12. Pharaoh Spire, do you copy? Anyone? You hear that? Let's have a look. This is Sarah Randall, Administrative Director of WI Atmospheric Processor Sigma-12. Pharaoh Spire, do you copy? Anyone? Sigma-12 is compromised. That cult! I still have five employees on site. Listen, these are engineers, biologists, security officers, valuable people. Please, Pharaoh Spire, you have to help us. Seems that director of yours isn't big on saving her employees, Hayes. Don't be unfair, Sergeant. If the Darwin era is here, there could be a mole among those survivors. We don't need one aboard the Otago. Fair enough, but valuable people, that we could use. Keep an eye out, Marines. There could be clues lying around. We won't go far without SACOM. Better check it first. And that is basically why you need to read all the data pads, because there are survivors here. On my way. Medics, hey, engineers, potential marine recruits. Looks like a data pad. Valuable people that will be useful back on board the Otago. But this facility was infiltrated by Darwin-era cultists. And the only way you're going to know whether or not you're taking a potential saboteur back to the ship is by reading these data logs. So all of those data pads that you, you pick up just to get 100% mission completion, you Come never bother actually reading them. On this mission in particular, you really do well, need to read them. To the ooh, ooh, ooh. Dormant alien, where's Smudge when Stay I need him? At squad. the back. <laughs> what use is a recon marine at the back? Right, back everybody off. Oh. Well, there's no getting around. Oh, no, we can get around that way. Not completely sealed. Nice and easy. And can we get around here? Yes. Let me take the shot from this side. Quiet. It didn't see oh. us. Oh, for God. Smudge, you're a scout. So scout. <laughs> People were saying apparently the order in which you select the squad determines their march order, but that doesn't seem to be true. Smudge was the second Marine in today's lineup. I've had him the third Marine in previous lineups, and yet he's always at the back of the fucking squad. It just, it just doesn't seem to make any kind of sense. He's a scout, he should be up front, but he's always at the back, which means he's always the last person to get line of fire on anything that needs shooting. It's kind of frustrating. So there are two of them around this corner, how am I going to do all that without triggering a hunt? I don't think I can. Again, back of the squad, right, screw it. Skirts, get the grenade launcher out. Grenade. We're just going to have to deal with it. Right. We have now woken up right the hive. Now. Although we've got Disgusting. some Xeno samples. So it's not all bad. Got them. They look intact to me. Okay, initial objective, other side of this door. It's a drone. Alrighty. So we need to connect Mako so she can do her remote access shit. Have a good look around first, though. Not just for enemies, of course. There might be something useful in here. Is that a hive exit? No. Move on. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, is that a toolkit? That is a toolkit. Zeno, it approached. Loads of goodies there. 
Maybe we can find a way to those. Yep, we're gonna grab everything. Hurry up, squad! Oh shit. Right, smudge. Finally. Got you in my sight. Listen. And the hunt is over. That was well timed. Because that could have just started another hunt. That would have been perfect, wouldn't it? The hunt has been interrupted. Precision shot. Too slow. Zap. A hunt has been initiated. <laughs> Where's all this stuff they were talking about? There's supposed to be loads of stuff in here. Is it in this central room? Stay frosty, Marines. Because aside Come from the toolkit, which I am grateful for, there was nothing else here. That's the SACOM room. Can you connect me to that terminal, Marines? Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. But where's all my stuff? I was promised stuff. Check the body. Oh, another tool. All right. Well, I suppose that counts as Accessing stuff. Terminal. Right, let's get her connected. Good. I found a path to the processor's power core, but no specific location. That SATCOM had other interesting things to say, though. Interesting. As in... A hangar. Full of goods. Maybe it'll help Corrigan adapt the power core to the Otago's shield. I also spotted an armory, if your men need a refill. And finally, a sector map. Atmospheric processors are slightly out of my field. Not going inside blindly is probably a good idea. Thanks for the heads up, Hayes. It's your call, squad lead. Either we explore the area, or we move straight to the power core. But we better be ready. Right, so... We now have a huge range of options to choose from. The primary objective, just head straight for the power core inside the atmosphere processor, or any one of a number of different secondary objectives, each of which have their own tertiary objectives. Like, for example, secure the survivors. There are survivors in the laboratory. There are survivors in the living quarters. But there's also information about the survivors that we need to find in order to verify their integrity, to ensure that we're not actually taking traitors back on board the Otago, to sabotage the ship. That would be suboptimal. Hurry up, you anyway. Slugs. I mean, the only thing I know for sure I'm not doing is heading straight for They're the primary objective in. because there's so much other stuff to do around here. I'm not sure in which order I'm going to tackle all these secondaries, though. I guess we'll just see whatever I'm the closest to and we'll do that first. So, I've already checked that out. I mean, the very Come first on, thing team. I'm going to do is check out my immediate surroundings. Got something on the tracker. Uh, and there's our first motion tracker contact. You'll have to go through this building to reach the processor. Yeah, and it's heading this way. It's duck in here. Well, nothing useful. Oh well. Also, no door. So, meh. Shh. Oh, line of sight. All right, Smudge. Come on, Smudge. You've got this. I don't think he's got this. <laughs> I think there's a... Okay, now he has line of fire. Come on then, Smudge. Got you in my sights. And he fucks it up. <laughs> Smudge. <laughs> Smudge. You had one job, Smudge. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It didn't see it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Secondary objectives: secure the survivors. Oh, hang on. What's going on down here? I like the looks of this. Let's head in and investigate. Got something on the tracker. Oh, uh oh. There's a thing. All right, Smudge actually has a shot. Got you in my sight. Tango down. Nicely done, Smudge. You see what happens if you can just I motivate yourself? Signals. Right, what's going on in here? Well, there's a Mark. thing. Hey, Hunslet. Ah, the Maybe data pad. Your size right. in there. Watch out, Sarge. My size can still kick your ass. So, hey, I haven't actually... Something. I mean, I've been Looks reading like all the data pads pad. that I've picked up, but I haven't seen anything incriminating about anybody yet. And we can create a shelter here. Not that I really need to just yet. So, Lise Val, senior botanist. What she has to say for herself. Things are getting worse. Turns out they're extra dangerous. We already have several infected. Okay, this person doesn't sound particularly incriminating. 
So I think we can probably trust them if they've survived and we find them. They're heading our way. Hurry up, squad. Oh, we got some motion tracker contacts. Right, the room next to us, Hold the doors are busted, we can't get in. But we can explore this. Well, actually, the two rooms next to us, the doors are busted Come and we can't team. get in. You think they make cornbread here? Plenty of stuff in here, though. Stop by searching this way. body, picking up that med kit. Let's see what's inside. Oh, shit. Uh, and Smudge is busy. <sighs> right, okay. We can't do the precision shot because Smudge is one of the ones picking up med kits and checking bodies. You like that, huh? Who else we have a hunt. Up? And there is another contact very, very close. Although it's not moving. So it's probably just an alien in the vent. There's a data pad down there. More signals incoming. Oh, we do have moving contacts closing in. Actually, we have a lot of moving contacts closing in, so let's get everybody away from the doors. And start setting up some defences. Let's get a sentry gun placed. Covering that door. Because these things do have a 90 degree arc of fire, you can actually Deploying set them up gun. in the right spot. Let's get another one down. Over here. Uh, primarily to cover the door to the north, but also it can cover the door to the west as well. Sentry almost ready. Man, that's a lot of signals. Incoming. Shit, the Here they come. Off. Right, where's my grenade launcher? Go on, skirts, do your thing. Grenade. Yeah. Didn't leave it nearly enough. Okay. Um, looks like most of them are coming from the door to the north, and in close quarters like this, suppressive fire of limited use. So, skirts, let's try again with the grenade launcher. Much, them, much fuckers. better. Uh, we've got more shooting time than anything coming through that door to the west, so I'll lay suppressive fire down in that direction. There's definitely something coming that way. There it is. Right, nicely handled. Right, we have another further two motion tracker contacts. Neither of which are actually moving. They're heading our way! Right, there's a third. Yeah, all three of them are stationary. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of this, because it means I'm going to have to deal way. with them when the hunt ends. Oh, crap, no, there are more moving in. Oh, this could be really bad. Is the hunt going to end, and then these things are going to jump me? And start another hunt. Track, squad. Hunt Good interrupted. Job. Shit. <laughs> I could have another hunt right the hell now. Oh, I'm going to have to play this one really carefully. I don't really want to create a shelter in here they really want because this Roger. I've only got three tools and there are two doors here that hey, need sealing. While things are quiet, we'll check out this data pad though. Do I want to pick up the sentries? Oh, when you've got a tech on the team, you can upgrade the sentries by the way, so they also provide suppressive fire. It does cost you a tool though. Packing sentry gun. And I don't have enough tools to worry about that sort of thing. Sentry packed. Right. Okay, so they're worth four contacts. There's now just two. Hurry up, squad! There's now just one, so those other contacts were probably aliens in vents. Suicide by the looks of it. Copy. Right. Let's um, see what's inside. Some good stuff in here. We'll pick that up. Well that and door. I am going to make a shelter. So there's another tool, Drone welding. which I'm immediately expending by welding this door shut. Everybody's uh, Drone stress under control. They We're can't get definitely in, right? going to but have a rest now? in here. This not only relieves everyone's stress, but it also gives us a save point. Right. How are things looking now? Take a quick look at that wakey, motion wakey. tracker. And we are clear. While it's quiet, let's take a look at the map. So many secondary objectives. I mean, there is plenty of stuff to do in this mission. There's a whole bunch of objectives bunched up. Oh, there's, there's an alien coming. <laughs> More signals incoming. Heading right for us. I mean, the door's welded shut, so it's fine. We didn't come here to enjoy the view, so move really now. fast. Two contacts, and they are both moving. All right. 
Let's get a motion tracker, tracker down. I have been Set slapping on those tracker. in this uh, deployment at least. Motion tracker deployed. So this is the first one I've actually placed. I'm going to wait for whatever the hell that is outside to not be outside before I crack the seal on that door. It's right there and it's stopped moving. Wait, no, it's 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 taking its sweet time all of a sudden. Will you please fuck off? There's another one outside there. Okay, let's wait for it. Wait for it. Go on. Bugger you looking off. for a nice spot for a picnic or what? Okay, now let's crack the well. Cut that door open. There's a whole bunch of objectives. Breaking the well. Really, really close. I'm probably going to do those. First. Drone reacquired. Come on, team. They're heading our way. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I think there's something in the vent in that room. That's a bit of a bummer because I'd like to check out that room. We'll do the one opposite. Double time. Fancy a read, right. folks. Come on, Marines. We got a job to do. Let's check out the body. Can create another shelter here if I need to. There are a More lot of areas incoming. in this, at least initial part of the atmosphere processor level, where you can make some shelters. Lots of rooms that only have one way in or out, with a door that you can seal. Anything in here? Critters tunnel. Sneaky little bastards. Yep, hive exit. Well, I've got that covered by a motion Come on, team. And we're back outside. You're close to the hangar. I bet these materials are worth the detour. Right, apparently there's a load of stuff. Oh, hang on a minute. Move! Move! I like the look of this. Yep, there's a toolkit. Like I was saying, there's a lot Let's of these little inside. sort of one room bunkers that you can seal the door shut on and create yourself a shelter at the cost of only one tool. I mean, I don't need to do it now, but it's nice to know that these things are available. Let's check out the one next door as well. I think and we're there's spotted. nothing in here. I mean, aside from the fact that it's a very, very convenient little shelter. Right Come then. On, team. Let's head down here and take a look around. Oh, there's a body. Check in for valuables. So, here we go. Explore the hangar. Supplies, supplies, supplies. Hurry up, I've just made this my immediate objective. So the objective markers are actually pointing towards them. But it's basically three big rooms here with lots and lots and lots of stuff inside. Probably also lots and lots and lots of aliens. Let's get another motion, motion tracker, tracker down here. Should cover all three rooms. Setting a motion tracker. And I suppose we should start checking them out one motion by one. Tracker deployed. Shh, here's one. Yep, supplies and eggs. Hmm, okay. Well, supplies are good. Eggs are not. See how close we can get before the eggs start to become aware of our presence. Yeah, that's close enough. Smudge. You can Got you I mean, there's multiple sights. ways of dealing with the eggs. You can shoot them. Just make sure Smudge does it, it. because that won't alert Let's the heart. see what's inside. The problem is, you know, it's not that much of a problem if you're just prepared to take your Move time. Because you're going to need, at some point, to wait for the command points to regenerate. If you can take all of them out with a grenade, Got that's you in my good. Um, but you have to take all of them out with a grenade. I mean, there's four eggs over there. There's two now. If they were close enough to be caught inside a grenade's blast radius, one grenade would have taken all of them out without alerting the hive. But they were too far apart. So one grenade would have just nuked the two eggs sights. caught in the blast radius and woken up the other two eggs not caught in the blast radius. On so instead way. we're doing this the Let's slow way inside. with smudge. And those precision shots. I mean, you know, it works. It's just slow. Grab these resources. Nice. Okay, is there anything else in this room? 
I keep getting distracted by that one crate over there, but we've already opened it. I just see the, the green light and... Oh, hang on, on there's, there's a lot more in here. We've got one more materials around. and two ammunition. Affirmative. Let's see what's and there is inside. a motion tracker contact just appeared up by the entrance. I hope it doesn't come in here. What is it doing? Looks like it's heading into the next room. Well, we'll pick up the um, materials and the ammo, give it time to decide what it's going to do. Move, I, move. If it does decide to come into this room, I want smudged. Oh shit, I forgot there's another egg. There's another egg. There's another egg. Get it, smudge. Get it. Got you in Get my it. Sights. Was that in time? Shit. Face hugger. Bollocks. It wasn't in time. Right, fine. Light up. We have a hunt. Like that, huh? Fortunately, um, I mean, I came over here in order to ensure that whatever came through that door, we had a clear line of sight on. Position taken. As it happens, <laughs> I mean, we had a clear line of sight, but a hunt was initiated. Okay, there are no hive exit points inside this one room. There's only one other motion tracker contact. It is, of course, heading this way. But uh, we should be able to deal with it very, very easily. Oh yeah, it smells good. The downside of using smudges precision shots to eliminate all of those eggs is well first make sure you eliminate all of the eggs. <laughs> and also it uses command points. So we're kind of low. If we run into any kind of serious trouble here, uh, I may time. have to start burning tools in order to do a tactical analysis and refer oh shit, there's something coming. <laughs> <Safe position. laughs> get it, get it, get it! Holy shit, that thing that gun is a frickin long right, the hunt's almost over. We're back up to three or five command points. We've got four or six tools, and our med are. pouches are full. Haven't found any new sentry guns yet, though. I don't hear them anymore. Is over. Clear. Right. Next room. I'm definitely clearing this place out, by the way, because there's a ton of materials available. I'm just not a huge fan That's of the um, eggs and aliens that each one of these rooms is infested by. Not seeing any just yet. Somebody just said drone spotted. What are you talking about? Where? Unless it's something that was picked up by one of the field motion trackers. I mean, that does sometimes happen. They react to something that a field motion tracker has spotted rather than something that they themselves have spotted. So where are the bad guys in here? Because you know there's going to be bad guys in here. I mean, there's a ton of... Oh, that's a lot of materials. So where's the catch? Egg. Too bad these things found it too. Ah, uh, there we go. Five eggs. Oh, there's a med kit there too. So there's no way I'm getting everything in here without having to deal with those eggs. Okay. Um, well, I can certainly pick up. I think we're ooh, spotted. Oh, oh, oh! And there's more. There's a drone. Smudge. Don't let me down, Smudge. Smudge, you're letting me down. <laughs> <laughs> Again, at the back of the squad. What are you doing? You're a scout, so scout. All right. From here you can do it. I'm not sure you have enough time though. Uh, probably God, actually, yeah, it's fine. It's a dormant, so it detects things much, much, much slower. So yeah, that was not an issue. On it. Let's pick up the first crate. Let's see what's inside. Motion track is clear. Got a ton of eggs at the other end of the room though. Never on, gonna get team. that med kit without having to deal with the eggs. See how close we can get and what we can pick up without having to deal with the eggs. Got you in my sights. Here's my issue. I can just use smudge to precision shot all of these eggs, but I've only got two command points left. Now we only have one command point left. And these things do regenerate, but they don't regenerate that quickly. Also, uh, I can take out the rest of the eggs with a grenade launcher, but guess Let's what? That's inside. also a command point. I mean, I've got one back already, so it's not that bad. On it. Looks like I can grab these materials without uh, waking up any of the eggs. But there's no way I'm getting that med kit. Here's the thing though, I don't need the med kit. My med pouches are full. And that's an awkward positioning of those other eggs. Double time! Probably snipe them from here. Thing is, I don't need to. I mean, I'm going to do it just for completion's sake. 
A grenade would... Got you in my sights. See, this has cost me two command points. Two command points I don't have. A grenade would have done it for just one command point. But that lack of thinking isn't the biggest problem here. The biggest problem is I'm tunnel visioning on grabbing all of the stuff that I can without checking whether or not I can actually grab it <laughs> because my med pouches are full. So, yeah, the command points refresh. I'll take out the final egg. Come on, team! And now I can pick up the med kit. Except I can't pick up the med kit. Because I'm already carrying six med kits. You fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Try not to tunnel vision on things in a game like this. I mean, it didn't get me killed, but it didn't do me any favours either. Hurry up, you right, slugs. one final hangar to check out. Lots and lots of resources available in here. Which I'm going to need because I still haven't unlocked the RPG. Or the incinerator. I'm trying to save my materials to get these unlocks. See, at the moment... Oh, oh, is that a sentry gun? I think there's a sentry gun in here. There's also a shit ton of eggs and probably a dormant alien or two. That is definitely a sentry gun. Right, there's eggs Don't basically comfy, everywhere. Okay? I mean, I'm not leaving without that sentry Come gun. Come on, team! See, at the moment I'm focused on unlocking that RPG. Because right now... I have to have one Marine in the squad with a regular pulse rifle rather than the heavy pulse rifle. Uh, because the heavy pulse rifle doesn't have a grenade launcher. And the regular pulse rifle does. And the grenade launcher is really, really good. But if I give everybody a heavy pulse rifle, that means I've got no grenades. It's quiet. And I like the grenades. Too quiet. My problem... And I haven't figured it out yet, but I will as soon as I unlock the RPG. Is it the RPG? just isn't really that good. I mean, it does a whopping Come. amount of damage. Let's see what's inside. And against a big target like a queen or a crusher, it's very useful. But it has a tiny blast radius because it's a shape charge, so it's no good for taking down bunches of stuff clustered close together, like, you know, aliens attacking en masse or clusters of eggs. And it has a very pronounced delay in firing, unlike the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is actually a better weapon. Um, which means around. that you really should always have at least one marine in the squad with the pulse rifle. I mean, I didn't know this at the time. I first had to unlock and actually use the RPG in order to discover just how not great it is. Ah, fuck. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, oh my god, the entire screen just lit up with motion track contacts. <laughs> that was every egg opening at the same time. And something coming through the door. Oh, it's a warrior. It's going to pounce. Now, you can interrupt the pounce um, with something like a shotgun blast, but it's too far away. Or, alternatively, you can just move out of the pounce area and blow it out of the air on the way in. Okay, that could have been really, really bad. But, um, hey, look on the bright side. We've cleared the room. <laughs> That's the fast way of doing it. <laughs> Move on. Uh, so we have a hunt, but there are no motion tracker contacts closing in. And now we're free to just pick everything on up. So way. materials everywhere. Let's see what's inside. I think there's ammo in here. I think we're spotted. And of course there is another sentry gun. There's a contact moving in. I need to make sure I've got clear line of fire contact. on the door in order to engage that thing. It is coming in. We've got it, but there's another one. It's brought a little friend with it. Uh, we're okay here, actually. Tango, straight ahead. Go on, Focus get it. On target. Shit, the thing's nice. Command points are building back up again. Everything's clear. Let's grab the rest of the stuff and then move on to another objective. Wait. Hunt is it. over. Motion tracker is clear. Let's see what's inside. Let's grab all the things. Stuff and the fangs. Nice. Three or four motion trackers. Each marine can carry one motion tracker. Objective complete. Experience for everybody. Come Although, on, no promotions Move. as yet. Right. Um, it's switched back by default to the primary objective. Enter the atmospheric processor. But we're not going to do that. Looking at everybody's stress, they've got all these, like I said, handy little rooms that you can 
hole up in. Oh, there's some ammo in here as well. Not that I particularly need it. Uh, the room next Don't door. Get too comfy. Have, have we okay. checked this room out? We have. Can't create a shelter here. The door's bust. Or just completely gone. But there's nothing in here. Got something on the track. So if I'm going to make a shelter, and there is another motion tracker contact just popped up there to the east, this is where it's going to happen. That door. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the squad's actually looking pretty good, except for their stress Drone levels, welding. which are not terrible, but I've got a fair amount. Well, I've got three tools now. Drone I have four, but it's a decent well amount of tools. Hold. So we're going to rest. Save the game. And proceed from here. So that's one secondary complete. Salvaged all the materials from the supply hangers. Naps over. Move your asses. There's a motion tracker contact for right looking for a outside. nice spot for a picnic or what? Oh, it's oh yeah, the ARC must have killed Cut it. Okay, we can open. crack the lock. Let's open up, Sesame. Move on to our next objective. Not quite sure what that's going to be just yet. Drone reacquired. Whatever's closest, I suppose, as long as it's not the primary objective. So let's uh, take a look at the map. Secondary objective is get into the command room for the sector map and get into the armory and stock up on ammo. And they're both kind of right next to each other. Primary objectives all the way up there. So I'm not focused on that right now. I want to get all of these secondaries done. Still huge areas of the map I haven't actually explored just yet. It's quiet. Too quiet. So ALC's parked up Shit, here. Conveniently enough, us. it's been mowing down up, any roamers. Uh, so Roger. there's some Xeno samples here we can Disgusting. pick up. Disgusting. Conveniently, right next to Got our em. next objective, to me. which is in here. Shh. Here's one. More signatures spotted. Hello. What's going on over here? I mean, I don't Got you really in my need sight. to kill it with stuff. Oh yeah, don't mess with me. I don't think at this stage I've figured out that you don't actually get experience for kills. You get experience for surviving massive onslaughts and completing objectives. You'll have to unwall that door, though. Open up, Sesame. Right. I'm going to crack that weld because that is the armory. Drone reacquired. Oh, oh wow! I think we're spotted. Come on, team. Snatch that is a lot of ammo, I need you to be safe. which I don't actually need. But since I'm probably not going to complete this entire mission in one deployment, move, move. I'm just going to leave it there. Because I'll probably need it when I come back. Oh, there's something in here. There's a toolkit. For once, Got Smudge is in actually sights. in position. Go down. A good pan around. It looks like there's just a toolkit in here. I'll take it. Let's see what's inside. Can never have too many tools. So our current objective, I mean, they're kind of all mostly on top of each other. I'm not too worried about the contact down to the south. The ARC will take care of it as soon as it spots it. This is fine. The ARC can look after itself. There it goes. Stay frosty, <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Come on, okay. team. Um, yeah, a lot of these secondaries are all kind of right on top of each other. So, secure survivors, uh, access the sector map, and so on and so Deploying on. Deploying motion, another motion tracker. tracker down. There is a contact up motion, the tracker. motion tracker. Activated. Here's the thing. This is something I'm not They're huge fan of. And you'll see it happen when we do actually come across one of the survivors. Because I've mentioned that you do really need to the be reading the data pads. Oh, if shit. You me, Contacts in front and behind. Although the one in front is inside a room. So let's just get away from the one behind. There's another door there I can unseal. Open There's another door, room here. There might be survivors inside. I can make a shelter here, and I think Copy. that's the sector map. Let's check the body though, and there's another I'm data sorry, pad. Sorry, but I think you can forget that sector map. Some critter's last wish was to die on it. <sighs> In that case, we'll have to search the processor by hand. You know where to start, but if you need any help, ring me. Right, good news. Smudge Move just on. got himself a promotion. Up, Bad squad. news, the sector map is completely spotted. 
Now, I'm waiting for that motion tracker contact to clear before I investigate that other room. But Hayes was saying, check that door, Marines, there could be survivors inside. So this leads me on to my... I mean, I like the idea that you do have, have to be careful about who you rescue and who you don't, so that you don't take traitors back on board the ship. But it could have been implemented better, open. because, as I said, you need to be checking Friend data pads world. to decide whether or not you can trust somebody. But here's how the game handles the actual decision-making process. USCM, stay right where you are. Please, don't shoot. We won't if you tell me your name. Robert, my name's Robert. Wait, did he kill that guy? You a murderer, Robert? Murderer? No, I had to. That creature had attacked him. Are we doubting someone who did the right thing, Harper? Maybe he's infected. Maybe his friend wanted to do the right thing, but got killed in the process. What do you reckon, squad lead? And here's my problem. We have to decide right now whether we're going to take him back to the ship or kill him. All right, squad lead, I trust your instincts. Escort that guy to the ARC. And it provides you with the summary of all the information that you actually have on the person whose fate you're deciding. But what if you haven't gathered all of the information? I mean, I hadn't. I recovered one data pad that revealed that this guy was awarded Employee of the Month, but there was another piece of More information that I hadn't yet come across. And it told me that there was another piece of information that I hadn't yet come across, and that could have been highly incriminating, but I haven't seen it yet. So I had to make the decision based on incomplete on, information. Team. And I had to make the decision, right there and I then, kill him signals. or take him back on board. There were no other choices. I didn't just want to kill him. I mean, partially because he's an engineer and I need engineers, but I had no incriminating evidence. The only information I had on him was that he was named Employee of the Month. Oh, sounds More like the ARC is taking care of business. Good. Um, but yeah, just because somebody's a good employee doesn't mean they're trustworthy. You know, spies tend to make themselves Double useful time. in order to get promoted higher and get access to more and more sensitive information. Disgusting. Take Aldrich Ames, for example, a CIA operative who was placed Here's inside the CIA's operations department. Specifically, given extremely sensitive access to all kinds of information regarding the CIA's counterintelligence operations against the KGB on, and the team. GRU, responsible for running two agents within the KGB and he was a Soviet spy, <laughs> so you can't just trust people because they get good performance assessments. So based on the information that I have, which was incomplete, Bobby the engineer is now being taken back on board the Otago, and I do not I know whether or not signals. I can trust him. And that will have consequences. And it's not really my fault the because the game, oh shit, smudge, get it? Oh, for God's sake, Smudge. All right, fine. So we're going to have a hunt. <sighs> Shotgun. Right, there's something closing in from the north. I don't want to be inside a nice tight room to deal with it. I want to have lots of clear line of fire. Lots of blast it as it comes through the access to the north. And there's something moving in from the south. Right. They're heading our way. Yeah, same deal. Ah, oh, crap. Coming in from both sides. All right. This'll do. Just wait for it. Oh, and there's a massive monster. Mm. Okay. So, um... Kill that bastard! Right. I need to stop running and deal with things chasing me from the north. Now, run. Get into this room. Because there's only one way in. This is where we found the engineer. And start setting up. So I want sentry Deploying guns to cover the engines. Gun. We've got three, we're going to use all of them. Let's get this one further back to cover the other two sentries. Sentry almost ready. This is a good spot. Sentry activated. So I can get the marines back here. I can lay down flares and get suppressive fire ready to go. It's probable, here it comes. But the sentries alone will be able to handle it, but um, let's Let give light. them every possible fighting chance. Let's flare down to cover the entrance. Right, More they're coming in from the north. Incoming. Oh, they're crossing open ground outside. I wonder if I can get Hunslet to nuke them 
with a rocket barrage from the dropship. Ah, no. No, you have to have line of sight. Okay, never mind. We'll just have to deal with this the old-fashioned way. So we've got a flare down. Let's get suppressive, suppressive fire on the fire. entrance, since it's the only way in. And that, plus the Marines' own firepower, with those sentry guns, should quite easily be enough. Unless we get any Category 2 Xenomorph. I might have to use a grenade launcher, but this should be enough to deal with this massive onslaught. A few more coming. Yeah, we've got this. Onslaught over, everybody earns XP, Smudge already had a promotion, and Skirts now has a promotion too. I think Smudge is now rank 9. Weld that door. Right, okay. Um, yeah, well, so we're going to weld this door shut and create a shelter, and I'll have a rest. Uh, and create a save point, and I think this is where we're going to end things for today. Uh, this is a huge mission. I'm going to try and power through as much as I possibly can with each deployment, because we are on a timer. We're on a 30-day countdown to nuclear annihilation. Shh, so I can't really afford to do multiple deployments unnecessarily. I'm a bit pissed that the game forces me to make life or death decisions on the fate of the survivors that I come across without access to all of the necessary information. Roger. I mean, I feel like it might Packing have been better for it to allow me to postpone the decision until I found all of the Here's data pads, but well, that's just not the way it works. So Sentry you've got to deal packed. with what you have. Anyway, massive onslaught dealt with, hive aggression now on medium, and we've barely scratched the surface of this atmosphere processor mission. It really is an absolutely huge deployment. But we're going to be knocking this one on the head uh, at this point, and we will pick up from where we left off in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend, and as always, stay frosty, Marines.